Like, I'm not doing enough to please everyone else. Am I just too entitled if I just want people to like me without me having to hide a bunch of stuff about myself? I don't think I am. I just wish that sometimes people would try to appreciate me for who I actually am. As Monica listens, she recalls vividly how Natsuki's friends were treating her and how naturally they did so. How long has she been fighting against that, refusing to change for others? I could only wish I was as strong as you are, Natsuki. You're so honest with yourself. I'm like, always trying to come off as perfect for other people. Anytime there's like a hint of contention, I just crumble. But it's thanks to you that I really started thinking about this stuff. You really inspired me to start working on it but I well like I said I didn't even do anything you were just being yourself that's all you needed to be also there's something else huh Monica takes a deep breath uh the thing is I might have read a little bit of your manga what you what the heck why didn't you tell me I'm sorry, I think I just felt like kind of embarrassed to admit it after I gave you such a hard time about it. <laughs> I can't believe you, of all people, were reading manga by my back. That's so funny. Yeah, well, I just flipped through one of them out of curiosity, but I ended up reading a whole bunch of it. But I mean, one of the characters was in the literature club. What are the chances, right? You were reading Parfait Girls? Wow, you have good taste. Just, just one volume. And I kind of just picked it out randomly. Well, you have good intuition then. You have to tell me about all your favorite parts. <laughs> well, I think it was some kind of weird fate because the character isn't just in the literature club. She also plays piano. It's just weird because I've always wanted to learn piano. She was like the perfect person that I always wish I was. If I just did what I wanted instead of always second guessing myself. Marco walks over to the piano and sits down. Ah, look at this scene. I always felt like I should only share the absolute best parts of myself. The parts that will impress people or make them like me more. But after you joined the club, I really realized how self-destructive that mentality is. We share things because we want to express ourselves. Sharing experiences allows us to share emotions. And I just felt like, like I wanted to show you this because if it wasn't for you, I never would have started playing. <laughs> hey. I think the credit for that one goes to the Parfait Girls, not me. No. Well, maybe it's true that Parfait Girls put the thought into my head, but it was still you who inspired me to keep practicing every day. Every day? Because, you know, you just make me feel like if I want to do something, I should just do it. I mean, I still haven't been practicing for very long, but I'm really not any good at it yet. Like, at all. But I wrote a song for the club and I worked really, really hard on it. So uh, it doesn't have any words or anything, but well, yeah. Mm, dun, dun, dun. Ah, oh, this is nice. Oh, that's the part from the trailer. Yeah. Oh man, it's another play on the actual tunes already. Oh no! Man, we're flashbacking! Oh my god. Man, no wonder they said you have to play in order, man. <laughs> I always like that um, sprite of Sayori. That's all. That was so good. It was? Yeah, are you kidding me? You're like already a pro. <laughs> Not even close. Does the song have a name? You said it would be about the club, so yeah. 
It's called My Song, Your Notes. Because everyone brings something so unique to the club. It's completely different from how I first imagined it, I think. But I was like, such a selfish perfectionist. It shouldn't be about me. It should be about everyone. And it's all of you who helped me shape the club into what it is. I would have never changed that. Well, I think that's really thoughtful. And kind of flattering. I kind of feel like I don't deserve this much validation. I wasn't exactly very patient either when I first joined the club. It makes me feel like I should probably apologize too. I think I was just really fed up with a lot of things and I got frustrated after not getting my way in the club. So yeah, I really didn't mean to take it out on you. I was being really immature. <laughs> if you get my stubborn butt to apologize, I guess you're doing something right. It's fine. I'm past it too. I think we're already even. But it's really sweet that you were thinking about it. It takes a lot of maturity to reflect on that kind of thing. Well, well, I wonder who I got it from. <laughs> oh, never mind. Well, anyway, we're even as long as you let me keep my manga in the club room. You did admit it that it's a form of literature. You totally can't take that back now. <laughs> you got me. The closet's all yours. Hehehe. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll bring in a little something for the club tomorrow. I want to do something nice in return. What kind of little something? Oh, you'll see. But I don't think you'll be disappointed. Oh, I already think I know what's going to happen. The next one being ends up being a particularly tasty one. But yeah, uh, I'm going to end this recording here because we've done part of that side story. And yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this series anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Comment on your thoughts of DDLC's plus side stories since I'm doing a lot more of them now. Yeah, see, hold on actually. Before we keep doing the outro, let me check the mail. Character Discrepancy by Lib Muzi. Having run the control simulation for a while, it's evident that a certain character is missing from any mention or appearance. This makes me speculate that Monica's meddling in less clumsy than we think because she would have had to manufacture this character herself as a way of forcing interaction between her and the user. Could that be why the character has such limited and dissonant personality traits? Or am I reading too much into this? I'll open an issue to start tracking info and observations on this anomaly of this character appearing. <laughs> Let, let's just restart the intro. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Comment on your thoughts on DDLC+. Plus. Uh, subscribe if you want and hit the bell if you do so desire. Thanks again, guys, for watching this series. And we'll continue uh, with balance in the next episode.